Welcome to the Lockheed Martin Pilot Web. Filing flight plans through the Lockheed Martin Pilot Web is simple and straightforward. To begin, log into your personal Pilot Web dashboard. From the Pilot dashboard, hover over Flight Planning and Briefing from the menu bar, then select Briefings, Flight Plans, and Navlogs. This will open up the main flight planning page. From here, you will notice a draft domestic flight plan form, the selection for a domestic or ICAO flight plan as well as advanced flight planning buttons that are covered in detail in other videos. Also located at the top of the page are drop-down menus, allowing you to recall recently filed flight plans or flight plans that have been saved as favorites. To save a favorite flight plan, simply fill out the flight plan form and select the Save as Favorite button to add to your list of favorite flight plans. Basic functions of the flight plan page include the ability to hover over a field title or click the field title, which details what is required for that field. Notice the magnifying glass buttons located throughout the flight plan form. These search dialog boxes will assist you in locating aircraft type, airports, nav aids, and aircraft color descriptions. For this demonstration, we will be filing a domestic VFR flight plan. To file a flight plan, starting with flight rules, select IFR, VFR, military, IFR, or military VFR. Next, enter the aircraft ID followed by aircraft type and equipment. The Aircraft Equipment field has a drop-down menu displaying the various types of equipment and their code. Simply select the applicable equipment type. The number of aircraft defaults to 1 but may be changed if necessary. Next enter airspeed, then altitude. Departure point follows, followed by departure date and time. Departure date will default to the current day, and time zone will default to your computer's time zone. Please note that a current time clock is located at the top right of the form. Departure time may be entered in local or UTC time. If entering in UTC time, ensure UTC is selected from the time zone dropdown. Now enter the route of flight, separating the route elements with a space. A route element may be a VOR, VORTAC, airport, waypoint, latitude, longitude, or airway. As a reminder, the route of flight field title may be hovered or clicked on for additional guidance. Next enter the destination, time and route, and fuel on board. Remarks are optional, but often include requests of air traffic control, locations of en route stops, or other helpful information. Next, enter the number of persons on board. Up to two alternate airports may be entered next. Pilot contact information will be pre-populated from your account information, but may be edited if necessary. Finally, enter your aircraft color codes. Selecting the Map button, located above the route of flight field, displays the route of flight in a pop-up window. A departure and destination must be entered, at a minimum, for the map to display. It is suggested to use this map button to confirm the route of flight prior to requesting a briefing or filing a flight plan. Select the File button when all information has been entered. Should there be errors, a dialog box identifies those errors so they may be resolved. Once all errors have been resolved, select File again. A dialog box will be displayed when the flight plan has been successfully filed and will also list any services for which you are registered. Note, for IFR flight plans, a dialog box will be displayed indicating that your flight plan has been forwarded to the Controlling Air Route Traffic Control Center. For your newly filed flight plan, briefing, navlog, and flight plan action buttons are located in the lower part of the page. These buttons allow for a standard or full weather briefing for your filed route, outlook briefing for flights departing more than six hours in the future, or an abbreviated brief button that allows you to select the items you wish to display for a briefing. Also, the scheduled email brief button allows you to select the items of a briefing and the time it will be emailed to you. Flight plan action buttons allow you to amend a filed or active flight plan, cancel a flight plan, or activate a proposed flight plan. The nav log button will prepare a navigation log for your filed flight. Advanced flight planning tools are also available from the flight plan page. The Optimize button in the Altitude field suggests more favorable altitudes to consider and calculates the fuel burn at those altitudes based on winds aloft and aircraft performance. The Evaluate button in the Departure Date and Time field will display the Departure Advisor tool, a tool designed to assist in the planning of a departure time based on weather conditions across your route of flight. Finally, the Plan a Route button will assist in selecting FAA preferred routes, IFR routes that have been recently assigned by ATC, shortest distance routes using Victor Airways, or coded departure routes. Also in the lower right of the flight plan form are quick link buttons that allow you to add, remove, or edit 
registrations of advanced services like Easy Activate and Easy Close, flight plan close reminders, or adverse condition alerts. To modify or simply view your registration status of these services, hover over the icon to determine the service and select its icon to open the registration status window. Any changes made to these services will only take effect for future flight plans, and changes made will not affect filed flight plans at the time of the change. Detailed instructions on these buttons, along with those relating to briefing and advanced services, are explained in more detail by viewing the Registering for Advanced Services video or the Advanced Flight Planning Tools video. Thank you for using the Lockheed Martin Pilot Web.